So, open this up, and to my surprise, it's also got a canister. We had such a good score at the church sale yesterday, and I realized that it's a two-day sale, so we're gonna try our luck again. We're gonna get there early, because there was a line last time. I'm expecting there to be another line today. However, maybe all the good stuff is gone. If they didn't have any extra inventory to bring out from the back, I'm not super hopeful, but there's a bunch of rooms that I didn't even check out yet. Like I didn't check out the DVD, VHS, and CD section. So that's a section that I want to check out today. And maybe they restock some of the games and toys. And also there's clothing. There's so much other things that we didn't even really check. So I'm excited about that. And hopefully we get some good scores. Wish us luck. What do you think? Good sign or bad sign that there is no line today. Maybe all the good stuff really was taken yesterday. Okay, well, we're still pretty early. So we're gonna have to wait in the no line that we're in right now and wait for 20 minutes because we thought there's gonna be lines. So now we're, we're gonna have to wait here, unfortunately, for the doors to open. Happy shopping. Yeah, happy shopping. <laughs> yep. We can't, we can't enforce a six foot rule, so we'll talk to you. Okay? Uh, I'll grab one. Sure. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. I should have on. All right, well, good luck. We'll chat after. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So we'll see here. So the clothing's here. Morning. So they got like purses and stuff. The big sales over there. Hi. So this is where the toys and get. Like, people are already waiting here to go in. Right there, yeah. Yeah, here, here, left. Okay. Did you say toys here? Up here. This is the sporting. Morning. Now you gotta get familiar with all your items that are for sale. that. Anne of Green Gables. Old doll there. See right here. So I was saying from before, but they got like no. brain age and stuff. So I think this might be. Yeah, that's a Lego one. But it's empty, unfortunately. And there's a Playmobil one too, so uh, some interesting stuff here. For sure. Well, I got, yeah, I got them all, but interesting stuff here. Buy school cards, some Barbies and stuff there as well. Sporting goods as well. And there's a bunch of dolls displayed there. What is this? I don't know what this is. Lego, look at that. It's a massive Lego case. Nothing in it though. So, this is Japan on it. It was made in Japan. Totally in Japan. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's like a GoBot or something, but this is a Transformer. This guy here. It was a. Yeah, it's like a construction vehicle. It's kind of cool. These are a dollar each. I might grab that. So, my wife just grabbed the like a Duplo bag for five. Huh. That's cool. So, open this up, and to my surprise, it's also got a canister. Ah! Oh, wow, fur coats. Okay. That is pretty cool. This is 17, it says uh, 1972. So, it's a bit old. Some poetry books. Some old Hardy Boys there, wow. Alright, so that's a look here. Maybe they got some mangas or something. Comic books. Okay. Half price. Half price, I came yeah. just in time. What did I do? <laughs> this one right here is probably the one I'm interested in most, The Art of Walt Disney. It's like a nice coffee table book there. It's huge. Another Walt Disney book, Walt Disney Treasure of Stories. What is this? Look at this. Look at this one. Look at that one. Oh my god, this one looks vintage. Silly Symphonies. Whoa. 
This looks really, really vintage. I think there's more Disney ones too. Oh wow. There's quite a few actually. Two final awards. Disney's greatest sight gags. Walt Disney's World of Fantasy. So those are the last two. Pretty cool. Yeah, so she hasn't opened it yet. So. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's sticking to the rules. Yeah, this one's kind of cool though. Yeah. What else? Hmm. Yeah, it's a nice jewelry case, sir. Oh my just God. Scared. <laughs> Almost dropped it. Put that there. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things. I'm just not at the age yet where I'd appreciate these. <laughs> I think I gotta be at least at least 60 years old and then you start to like them. Yeah, sure, you get it now and you put it away. Yeah. Yeah, this is vintage, yeah. That's true. I don't know, pretty cute. Yeah, I saw the prisoner one. Five dollars each, reindeer and the Santa Claus with the prisoner outfit as well. I don't know. It's uh, tempting, just for fun. This is uh, tempting. My wife now, she's like, I don't know if I want to be a reindeer. <laughs> with the tail? Yeah, that's a bit funny. The Santa one and the reindeer. The reindeer one's actually better though. Like, look, it's got like the... I think the reindeer one is even better than the Santa Claus one. The Santa Claus one, I think this is from Walmart. It's a uh, George. So the, this one feels like it's better material. Go for this one. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. Because this one is actually bigger, so if you're going to wear one of them, it would fit you worse. So I don't know. To be you and yeah, I'll see. You know what? Let's just grab them for fun. Here is the haul back from the church sale day two. There is no day three, unfortunately, so that was it. And I think we pretty much did a better job last time, but I was half expecting that if I'm going to be completely honest. Okay, let's go over it all. So a massive bag of Lego Duplo. Originally, they were charging five cents a piece and we're like, yeah, it's all Lego Duplo. It doesn't really sell for much, but a bag this size, we offered $5 for it. And they said, yeah, so uh, <laughs> like it's a lot of Lego Duplo. Now, obviously not as lucrative and as collectible as regular Lego, but to be honest, five bucks, I think we can easily get 40 to maybe even $80 for this because there's a lot of characters inside as well. Like this is just from the, the top. I think there is a, there's gotta be at least 20 characters in there. So not too bad. These were just costumes for fun. Uh, we're gonna wear it around Christmas or maybe next video for my outro. Maybe I'll wear this for the video. Let me know uh, if you wanna see me wear the reindeer outfit or the Santa outfit. This A-Team lunchbox, now if it was complete, it would sell for a lot more. I found the other version of this. I couldn't find this specific one, at least the sold listing for it. But nonetheless, I could probably get at least $20, I'd say, for this. It is very vintage. Now, this lunchbox, though, holy cow. Someone had it listed for $130. And there was one selling without this for like about $49 Canadian. And this is in really great shape from the 80s. So I think... I might list it for $80 best offer and see what happens. Um, I think this will sell. It's very vintage, very collectible from the 80s, 1984. And then we had a few Disney books. We got them for two bucks each. These look to sell for around $40. We got the Silly Symphonies. And we also got the Disney's Greatest Sight Gags. We got this Batman the Killing Joke book here. Uh, I looked up this one. It looks to sell for around $10 to $20. We got it for $1. Not too bad. And these guys were a dollar each. Uh, they don't look to sell for too much, to be honest. This one may be $10, and this one about the same, but it is vintage from uh, 1985 Tony. So, really cool. Made in Japan. Anyways, let me know what you think of this haul down below in the comment section. And with that being said, remember, may your carts always be full.